You're a big Mexican star. Does it matter to you that maybe one day they'll call you the best Mexican fighter ever? Saul Alvarez. The best Mexican fighter ever? Shit. Canelo. If Mexico got some boxers, dog. Or Mexicans, I guess. That was the end Ooh. of Kovalev as we once knew him. The youngest of seven brothers who would all fight professionally. And with the red hair, he's got an unusual look. An Irish-looking Mexican prize fighter. His red hair and freckles earned him the nickname he is now synonymous with, Canelo. You may see on his trunks the word Canelo. That means cinnamon. They call him cinnamon for that reddish hair. Yeah. But it looks more Irish. Is cinnamon brown? Am I wildin'? We're gonna let him have it. We're gonna let him have it. It's okay. I wish that he does Mexican. Jesus. When was the first time you, you saw Canelo Alvarez? When was the first time you laid on him? Uh, he was like 14 years old. Playing to packed houses in Mexico, there to watch him beat up grown men. Red hair, freckles. Wait, he was a, he was beating up grown men at 15? Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God, it was like that? I said, oh, wow, I mean, this is, this, this must be, what, is he Irish or what? what is do, do they have footage of that? <laughs> no, this is a Mexican kid because he turned pro in Mexico when he was 15. Boy! So he started making noise and uh, started knocking everybody out. 14? Holy, what? Alvarez. I got it, cutie, I got it. Alvarez. By day, he sold popsicles with his brothers. By night, they train. He's come from the family with six brothers, so he's been boxing since he was a kid. His uncommon gifts quickly revealed themselves, as did his unique disposition to strive for something greater than his humble origins. Right, coming from Guadalajara, the hometown area of Saul Alvarez. Alvarez, who turned pro in Guadalajara at age 15. Alvarez poured it on. He was still just 17 years old oh. when he contended for the WBA Feta Central welterweight title. Oh. Winning by a corner stoppage in the eighth. By age 18, he had built an impressive 22-0 record. So sure enough, I mean, he turned uh, 18. He was ready to sign with a promoter, and so I, I already... Bro, he had a 22-0 record before even turning 18. Oh my God, like, I am such a failure. <laughs> he had started, like, noticing him. I started thinking, wow, I, I have this red-headed Mexican, freckles, good-looking kid. I mean, there's something here that I can do with him. I can promote him. Right in the temple. Oh, oh, oh. team in his corner, Checo Reynoso and his son Jose. I'm an admirer of your style and your career and your willingness to fight everyone and your ability to learn as a professional and get better and better and better. Yo, I never knew what that was for. I used to see that thing all the time when I was like in the military, right? And they had like a, they used to have like all this like boxing stuff around and I used to see that thing and I would like punch it and I'd be like, why is it like swing so far? Like, 
he would have to punch this so slow. Like, I used to make jokes like, why did they do this? And then I remember one day in the gym, there was this guy, and he was, like, training on it, and my mind was blown. I was like, what? <laughs> I was literally like, what? <laughs> so crazy, dude. Alvarez has trained his entire boxing life with the same group, molding him into a champion. The same group his whole life? This man is a weapon. Next, he was pitted against Yuri Gonzalez for the WBO Latino welterweight title. Two guys with very good skills, equally matched. Canelo's nice and poised. He doesn't waste punches. Nice. Oh. That's maturity oh. in this young fighter. Oh. Ooh. Canelo attacked with blistering combinations. Alvarez suddenly found three right hands, an uppercut, and secured the stoppage. And he stunned the Gonzalez. And there it is, it's over. Just like that. So this man in is just things long chronicled. So until he met Floyd, he was just putting people in coffins. Literally, he was just putting everybody in a coffin. Oh my. Oh. History. Mexico has been a treasure trove of elite warriors known for their unshakable courage. In order to rise to the top in Mexico, a man must be made of iron. And possess never ending reserves of determination. Oh! He was winning his fights easily. The TV made him that he's not a real fighter. He's got mad offensive skills, and we know this. He was a national hero in his home country. I love the variation. I mean, Canelo's offensive variation is incredible. He throws punches from a lot of different sides. It's not just the punch. Ah! Ah! It's the That man is talking to God. Oh my. Oh. In 2010, he signed with Golden oh Boy. God. You just signed the richest contract in the history of sports. 300 plus million dollar deal, 35 million dollars guaranteed minimum per opponent. Packing in massive crowds and significant pay-per-view interest. From the way he fights, you'd never guess he was 19 and been fighting for five years. That's what I was right. going to say. Like, I, I am the greatest. You know, what you look at, he's 19, but he's got about 30-some fights. Good counter right hand up and under from Chris Alvarez. And he dropped a video game combo on Cotto. That was a little five-punch combination. Getting stick the stoppage. Em, stick him. Stick him. Stick him. Stick him. Stick him. And Tony Weeks is going to stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I peeped. I peeped, Zach. Right there. I punched one of those, like, really hard. Again, same gym when I, like, first joined the military. I punched one of those bags, like, really hard, and it came back and hit me in my face. It was so, oh, God, it was so impressive. <laughs> Tony Weeks is gonna stop it right there. <laughs> this thing right here. <laughs> so bad. It All came back so fast. Like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> to their limits. <laughs> gonna come down to who's got the biggest cash tank. It's gonna be you. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is this exercise? <laughs> Next up, a fight for the vacant WBC Super Welter title. 
Alvarez's crowd jumping in. He training his neck. Hey, I have to get my girl with these trainings. No cap. Like, might need her to age. Hey, what the fuck? Into it, cheering him on. Guy got hit so hard, he looked back in disbelief. <laughs> It's a bonafide rock star, major box office attraction. I'd be like, how'd y'all let another man in here? There's three men that just punched me in my stomach. I know it. I know for a fact. That man literally looked back like he got jumped. In Mexico, and now he brings his trade to Los Angeles, California for the first time. Barely 20 years old, and yet some in that country, Sergio, believe he could be the next megastar. Currently ranked number two by the WBC, number three by the WBO, and number four by the WBA. God. Everything's landing for the 20-year-old. Wow. One more time. One more time. That one. And he's gone. He's out. He's out. Alvarez continued his insane pace, racking up 37 Jesus. fights before turning 21. 37 fights before 21. Is this going to be the next superstar going forward after Pacquiao and Mayweather in their mid-30s walk away? So Alvarez and Alfonso Gomez for the WBC Super Welterweight title. We heard all the drum beats about what was expected of him, and now those expect Mayweather, Mayweather was mad smart fighting him when he was very young like this. This was really smart because if he had waited and then allowed Canelo to like mature and then like fought him, oh man, Canelo probably would have beat his ass. They're being fulfilled, maybe even a little bit on the early side. And we're underway. Scheduled for 12. Canelo is the golden boy first because he can. Chat, did Canelo fight Pacquiao? Fight his ever loving ass off. Oh, that's a big shot. That hurt him. Oh, 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 Poking a right hand by Alvarez. Left hook by Alvarez. Good right hand by Alvarez. Ships it thrown and drops him. He really hurts it thrown. Canelo would be tested big against the legend, Sugar Shane Mosley. Sugar Shane Mosley. Terrific fighter, terrific guy. And the chance from a huge Mexican audience here in Las Vegas have already begun to go up. Canelo, Canelo. All I've seen in these videos so far is that Sugar Shane Mosley, Mosley was like a stepping stone for like all of the greats. Was Sugar Shane Mosley like a good fighter? Just cinnamon, you know. Oh my God. And it was a telling blow. He hurt Mosley with that. Yeah, he looks like he's breaking Mosley down right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, nice uppercut. That one almost slipped the mostly off his feet. Going the distance, Alvarez won a unanimous decision. So Bro, he is beating him to Canelo. pieces. He now had the WBC and 
the WBA super welterweight titles. He's been in a lot of arenas since the 1980s for big fights. Few have been as electric as this. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is one of the greatest boxers to ever fight. It's easy to see Canelo's 42 wins and think Alvarez was ready for Floyd. Watch him stand in front of Canelo. Canelo throws a left, throws a right, he's over here. Pop! But he was still just 23 years old is that if you're the money man, Ooh. you can pick and choose opponents, fight them when they're not too dangerous, take Canelo when he's 22 years old, minimize the risk, minimize the damage, and get out with all... Yeah, but this is what a lot of people... I feel like a lot of people don't take it... Like, Floyd is old right here, bro. And he's still moving with this grace, and he's still dodging, and like... I don't know. I feel like if... if okay, if Floyd was, was pretty boy Floyd right here, it probably would have been a decent fight because they would have been going back and forth on blows if Floyd wouldn't have been running as much, right? Like, not necessarily running, but, like, dodging as much. So I'm trying to figure out if Pretty Boy Floyd versus Canelo versus, like, uh, Floyd on his, like, defensing tactic, Money Man Floyd Mayweather versus Canelo. I don't know. I think Pretty Boy would be a good fight. I think Pretty Boy, he was at the end of his prime. Yeah, he was at least, he was at least like, what, 35 right here? 40? He had to be almost 40 right here. All your money and all your marbles. It's pretty good strategy for the fighter, but maybe not for the sport. He would go the distance with Money Mayweather. Ultimately, it was a one-sided affair. Mayweather remains money in Las Vegas. In favor of the winner of the Super Welterweight Championship of Boss's prime is like 32 or 35. Oh. Floyd handed out a master class in boxing to the 23-year-old Canelo. Alvarez took a lot from the defeat. And over the next several fights, his defensive skills flourished. His head movement has been brilliant in the last couple of fights. He took a lot of training from Floyd. Just to slip punches beautifully. Standing oh in the pocket and using oh more head God. and body movement to force misses. I feel like after he fought Floyd, he was probably like, oh, this is definitely the right tactic. Like, this is the smartest move. Like, he was like, I bet everybody else probably seemed so slow compared to Floyd. So he was like, I'm just about to duck everybody. It's almost like a, an exercise in the ring, Sergio, when you say, hey, just slip and hit. What level of aggression to beat Canelo? should we expect from you tomorrow night? I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope adult that tells you how hurt he must be. I want to be on, on him so close. It's going to feel like we're Oh, yeah. He fucked you, all right? He bent him the fuck over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my girl right there after, like, three rounds? <laughs> I don't have a girl. Hey. How you doing? And then Canelo started to counter with big power and just blasted him out with one of the great combinations we've seen in recent years. He demolished James Kirkland. A signature KO. One for the highlight reels. Jesus. And Shirley's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. High altitude runs, lengthy endurance sessions. His training is always evolving. That man just built different, bro. He looks like Tom Hardy or whatever right here. Before uh, that one movie, uh, what was it called? Uh, I can't even remember. Jumping up in weight, he set aim on the WBC middleweight title. WB. A super fight with Miguel Cotto. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! I'm rich, bitch! <laughs>
That was actually good. Oh! Constantly moving forward. Oh. Silent aggression. Two of the biggest names in the sport. Got him missing everything. Got him missing everything, bro. Steady pressure, God. It's a steady mm. pressure. It's not really with, with, with combinations. It's just with, with him coming forward, looking oh. for shots like that. Jesus. Bro, he going way too hard. That's what's so crazy. Hey, Big Daddy Merc with the young 150 bits, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Come on. It means a lot, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me, man. Keep going out here. I hope you enjoy your day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's Friday, so I already know you and the babe about to be up to something crazy this weekend. <laughs> about to be up to something crazy. Make sure y'all check out the homie Merc on uh, Twitch and TikTok. He be going crazy. The fight went the distance. Yeah, it looks like Floyd helped him become better. Because he just nasty now. Canelo won the unanimous decision, securing the middleweight world title. Oh my God! Oh no! After making a few quick defenses of his titles, he would face off with Triple G. The long-awaited showdown between already legendary knockout artist Gennady Golovkin of Kazakhstan and consummate boxer puncher Canelo Alvarez <laughs> of Mexico. <laughs> it's the most competitive. <laughs> That's how it be, bro. That's how it be. Hey, don't worry, man. Don't worry. Y'all gonna be able to have some fun. You know what I'm saying? There's always Saturday. <laughs> telling style matchup in boxing in several years. Triple G Canelo this weekend, finally, the super fight, yep. the mega fight. Yep. I am tremendously pumped up at the fact that these two guys are as good as it gets. The fight was... That's what my body looked like, chat, underneath this hoodie. No cap. Everything fans hoped. Two masters of their craft battling back and forth. Many of history's greatest fighters have worn the crown of this division. Come on. Ooh. 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 It's Ooh. Not, it not only promises Ooh. to be a great action fight, but the buildup is such that it's also the biggest fight in boxing. His head movement and waist movement has been exceptional. Both of these dudes got power, and we're talking about a war. I feel like I would do something dumb where like I would dodge and then somebody would like just, oh my God, I would like dodge right into the counter, like right into somebody else's punch. You know what I'm saying? Oh God. Uh, uh. Jesus. Like that, like that. Miller shakes his head. That usually means he got hit. I think in the last two rounds, it started to resemble more of a Triple G type of fight. Chad, has anybody ever broken somebody's neck in the ring? Knocking Canelo back with the right hand. 58, 56, Gennady Golovkin. It was a highly contested fight in a battle to unify the titles. Both fighters standing toe to toe. Triple G rallied like a champion down the stretch, and that and, and to pull out what I thought was a draw. Died because of the uppercut. Damn. A three-way split. This is officially a draw. That was an epic middleweight title fight. The fight was a draw. But many felt Triple G had won, setting up a rematch to settle the score. Vegas, Nevada, make some noise and you 
Who is this? About it. Now it's time to be about it. As Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin, get ready to go in the ring. Again? In the rematch. How many times did they fight? The rematch was another battle. This one closer than the first fight. I would never give somebody a rematch. I've got I would three never rounds do that. to one, 39 36 for Canelo Alvarez. His accuracy is the difference in some of these rounds, and his defense has been exceptional. He's not letting the game dictate his level. Like, my thought is like, you lost. You're, it's already he over. You feel me? I don't understand. I want to level up. They stare each other at the end of the round. Boom, perfect timing. This time, Canelo was, was the clear victor. I don't understand Unified draws, bro. The middle weight. Somebody tights. always has the upper hand. I don't. I've never understood that. From Guadalajara, Mexico. Like my thought about it is, if somebody throws more punches and they land in more punches, they won the fight. the rangiest and cagiest and out fighting the roughest and toughest Damn. in the whole wide Six world. three? Oh my god. Oh my god. He moved up to contend for the super middleweight titles. Pitted against undefeated champion Callum Smith. Canelo is poised to cement his legacy. Hard right hand. As one of the greatest boxers to ever fight, Saul Alvarez, Canelo. Canelo Alvarez with the look of a. That's crazy. That's why I can never play sports, chat, because I never understood like sportsmanship. Like in my eyes, like you're a bum, dog. Like you was talking all that shit, and then you walked in here and got your ass beat. You feel me? Like.